Quick video to illustrate a simple Arduino project. Um, this is uh, just an LED ring with those WS2812B LEDs, a Nano, and the HCSR, what is it, 04 uh, ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor works by sending out a signal on one side, do 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 do, getting it back, bounces off whatever, gets it back on the other side, sends a numeric value um, to the Arduino to represent, you know, the distance away that it is. So this was a uh, illustrating a proximity sensor with basically what you call like a heat map. So the closer somebody got to the sensor, um, the darker the color became. And it was actually a, a gradient of colors. Um, the first iteration of this uh, was implemented using just a very simple switch statement. You know, one case it's uh, green so far away, blue as you get closer, yellow, then orange, then red, just using the gross color values. But um, after we built this other project where we were using this, people wanted to use a, uh, a more granular um, approach. <clears throat> and the LEDs are capable of displaying very, um, you know, sh uh, sh short, I don't know if you can tell, um, intervals on the color. You can really discern uh, you know, some subtle values as to how the shades change. So this presents actually a pretty interesting uh, mathematical problem or algorithm that, that you've got to come up with. The initial idea was to, uh, you know, use the RGB function. And so RGB, you've got 0 to 255, you know, three different times. So let's say 255 and 0. Um, and then we we're going to determine what the different colors we wanted are red, green, blue, find out what their RGB values are. And then, as you know, the distance changes closer and further, simultaneously increment and decrement, um, you know, the values to toggle between all these different RGB values. Um, and so, yeah, it, uh, you know, we started putting a function together that it looked much more difficult. I quickly than, realized there's um, got to be a better library way that has this. actually a very internet. simple, uh, elegant solution to this using their predefined color, uh, color gradients, custom color gradients. So I'll switch over there and hopefully we can see how that works Use real quick. Use this fast LED. There you can see the address, palette knife, drag the little bookmarklet up there. So now you've got this little bookmark up there. There's a link here. Go to, I don't know what it is here, CPT City. And so there's a ton of different um, color gradients on here. Okay, here's one, let's say. So if you choose it, you can see it lists. These are all the different formats. I think this is a CSS, yeah, CSS, probably GIMP. Um, you know, the different types of gradient maps you can see. So you can export that particular gradient if you want. Um, the other thing you can do is once you're at this stage, you can click on this little palette knife shortcut and it opens up a JavaScript window. So you can just cut and paste right from there. Um, and if we go into Arduino, click in there paste and you've now imported the new palette named whatever this is Civitas 07 gradient palette GP and then you can work with it that way and so that's the quick way to get some of these really cool gradients um, you know into your LED projects um, hope that helps All right. Bye. real quick lights off to demonstrate the subtle variations of the color gradient um, and hopefully you can see, as I move my hand closer and further away, just the kind of subtle changes in the gradient uh, heat map. Of course, it all depends on how you program your algorithm to move up and down that heat map. But you can hopefully see that you can no notice even, you know, very small changes using these color gradients. If I move my hand away like that, uh, you can see a change entirely. Okay, thanks.